Hey guys, Hoppy Gans here. Just want to make a quick video for you today for Company Heroes 2, and that is why I want to plead with you guys who are playing in team games as Axis to stop just blindly making King Tigers and Tigers, as you'll see why in this video. So lads, you're having a game of Company Heroes 2, and it's late game, and you got tanks, and your enemy's starting to churn out their tank destroyers. Especially if you see something like the ISU 152, this is a sign that you do not want to be making Tigers in King Tiger, because, because the ISU outranges the King Tiger and the Tiger. It can activate armor piercing rounds, and generally, when you've got the ISU 152 out, they've probably chosen a commander with Mark Vehicle. So what happens is, with Mark Target, they just click this ability, they put it on a vehicle, and they hit it hard. Um, every, you know, vehicle that is marked means that more shots that fire at it and anything that penetrates it will do more damage in general. Which makes it, you know, for, for units like the, the Tiger and King Tiger makes them, um, you know, quite easy to kill. Right, so here we have the, the Tiger Tank and the King Tiger. So what I'll do is I'll, we'll, um, we'll shoot the, we'll shoot the, for instance, the Tiger Tank, for instance. You'll see that here with the Firefly, I can move up and hit the, the, the Tiger. The Tiger can't return fire. Same thing with the Jackson. Jackson roll, rolls up. Bam, I can hit the, the King Tiger there. SU-85. Again, rolls up. Smash both units here without getting fired back. And same thing with the ISU. ISU can roll up. And there you go, penetrates like that. So I'll just show you guys. Just with, for instance, the, um, maybe the SU-85. You know, how quickly, quickly we can kill just a standard Tiger without marked target. Okay, so you guys can get an idea. Okay, so you can see that every shot that we hit with the, with the SU-85 does about 10%, maybe 15% damage, okay? There you go, three shots, we got down about half health. Four shots. Five, not a single shot has bounced yet. Six. And seven, there you go. So seven shots there. And now, I'll, we've got another um, Tiger tank over here, so that was seven shots to kill that Tiger. And now, I'll pop Mark Target onto this Tiger. You can tell a vehicle's been marked by this little icon above it, and a plane's flying overhead. And now, this 35 can now hit this, and you'll see that when it penetrates, it'll do a lot more damage. So, let's count the penetration shots here. One, two, three, four, five. So you can see there with, with Mark Target, it reduces the amount of damage you need to kill the enemy vehicles. Uh, the amount of times you need to fire on them. So that was seven, and this one was five. So the reasons why the, you know, the Tiger Tank and the King Tiger are not a good matchup against these, these uh, tank destroyers is because the main reason is because they just outrange them. And if you try to chase with the Tiger Tanks, for instance, the Tiger Tank trying to just push forward. All you need to do is just keep reversing back. But, you know, as long as you're outside their range, the Tiger Tank and the King Tiger can never return fire. As on our show. So here we go. I'm going to tell this Tiger to attack, move to this to, to here, and my Firefly. I'm just going to give some my Firefly to kite and keep pulling back as you will we'll watch here. Okay. So here we go. Let's see what we can do here with this, um, this Firefly. So here it goes. The Tiger's pushing forward. We're going to see it, but we're going to just keep reversing here. Keeping our distance away from this tiger. As long as we keep our distance, the tiger can never return a shot. We can always keep flinging shots down onto the tiger. So this is perfect. This is the perfect distance we need now against the tiger. There you go. So you get the idea here, right? You always keep your distance here, and, and in that way, chat. If you're if you're a good allies player, and you just keep reversing your vehicles backwards, um, the tiger, you know, things like the tiger tank and the king tank can never can never get close enough. And even if they do try and get within in range, especially something like you know any of these tank destroyers, all these tank destroyers here can take at least a couple of shots from a tiger or a king tiger. So you've got some leeway there. You know, you know, even if you back away, you might be you might be able to bait them into a mine if they just try to chase forward, right? And then they're really sitting ducks. Or if you had infantry there ready to then follow up with a snare running in with, you know, with an AT rifle grenade or any kind of thing like that, Panzerfaust or whatever. And you snare those big vehicles, 
Um, and then they can't initiate the chase anymore, and you can just keep killing them. And then if they try and reverse back, they're going to be too slow to get away, and you can just safely just pick away at them at range. So that's, guys, why I think it's so important into the late stages of a game, and you'll notice your opponent is starting to churn out the tank destroyers, especially the IHU 152, as it is very good at penetrating armor with armor piercing, and it has that better range. Um, you know, and in, in conjunction with Mark Vehicle, it's just not worth going for the Tiger and the King Tiger. You're, you're the, better, the best bet would be to go for something like maybe more Panther, like just getting Panthers out and trying to go for flanks. Or even maybe if the OKW player goes for, for instance, Jagdpanzers, maybe the Ostia player goes for Strugs. At least that way, if a Strug or, or a Jagdpanzer dies in the fight, it's not a massive loss compared to losing something like a Tiger or a King Tiger. So, and also, the map like the Steps, which we're on right now, this 4v4 map, you can see how open the map is in the middle, right? There's hardly anywhere for the King Tiger or the Tiger to hide behind just to, you know, in terms of to block the line of sight of these allied tank destroyers, right? In the entire south side, it's completely open as well. The only time they might be able to hide is maybe around this middle bit here. There's some, some, some sight blockers here, shot blockers there. But generally, it's not a good map for these types of units, the King Tiger or the Tiger Tank. Make yourself, guys, Panthers and uh, tank destroyers your own. Ideally, what you want is an elephant or a yak tiger in this instance so that's why guys if you're playing in an arranged team one of your players on your teammate as an axis player always should have the elephant command or yak tiger commander because if you do find yourself in this scenario where you you know when you've only when you haven't got an elephant or yak tiger you're going to be in some serious trouble at least with the elephant or yak tiger then you then have the advantage of the range where then you know you can hit their, their tech destroyers back without them returning fire so i'll show you here guys the yak tiger here it's much better range, and you can see here, bang, boom! It even hit the freaking uh, the freaking Jackson, then, and it uh, did about half health damage. So there we there you can see that utilizing the Axis tank destroyers in late game is very important. Let's make a austere elephant now. Here we go, elephant. There you go. Now, in a one of one v one fight, the elephant should win against the ISU, and I think uh, I think they pretty much have the have the same range. Depends who hits first. Let's just try and reverse back slightly. I think we're still in right, still be getting in from here. And I think now they have the same range here. But you see here though, when we penetrate him, we do more damage. And most of the time, the ISU is probably going to be on HE rounds, guys, because um, he will, you know the. Allies players will want to be using this to, to smack down infantry squads at range. But you'll see here though the elephant does outshine the ISU. However, that ISU didn't have have marked vehicle target. It was just a pure one-on-one -on -one battle. If uh, maybe T-34s came around and flanked, then it would be a different story. But again here, you'll see the elephant will outrange these other tank destroyers here. Jackson and the Firefly and the SU-85. So there you go. Elephant, Yag Tiger, good stuff. King Tiger, Tiger, bad on big open maps like these. Always have one person with the Elephant or Yag Tiger on your team. And yeah, guys, the Command Panther is also a good unit as well. Um, especially because the Command Panther can also do a Mark Vehicle, you know, like what we were just talking about with the Soviets popping Mark Vehicle down. The Command Panther can do that and that, allow, that can allow you to quickly take down maybe an ISU or maybe some really annoying um, allied heavies or tank destroyers that are, that are being very pesky. I would say, though, that on, on short, close-range maps, on maps where there's maybe a lot of buildings, maybe, um, you know, places where your, your Tiger Tanks and King Tigers can hide behind sight blockers, maybe, like, City 17 wouldn't be such a bad map for King Tigers and Tigers because they can hide behind a lot of the buildings and, and you know, dodge shots and that kind of thing in that, in that regard. Um, but, yeah, on big open maps like the Steps, maybe Red Bull Express, because Red Bull Express, once the two hedgerows on either side have been crushed, which will happen into the late game, it opens up and it's completely flat. And, and open um, so I would again say you know that would be a really good map for Yag Tigers and Elephants and not for King Tigers and Tigers. Hi lads thanks for watching that video if you want more content click up here or click over here to click on other content but make sure to click on that middle button to subscribe to the channel okay and I uh, stream every single day on twitch.tv forward slash helping hands. Catch you in the next one, guys. Take care.